Anytime you're ready. Picture this. For weeks, you've been hearing strange rumors coming from the Life Sciences Center. You are working on tissue regeneration, contagions, scary stuff, but you are not prepared for when the zombies attack. On Zed Day, there will be panic, confusion, and lots of fighting. In the interest of your survival, and that of post-apocalypse library and archives, Today we will begin preparing for this unbelievable but no less inevitable day. We'll review some of what we know about zombie invasions and some of the dangers you might face in the scenario I just outlined. By the end of the lesson, you should be able to assess whether a public location is suitable for defense against zombies. To do this, we'll identify some of the hazards of different environments and the characteristics of a good safe haven. Okay, first, by show of hands, has anyone here experienced a zombie outbreak before? Okay, how many of you have seen a zombie movie? Okay, great. Now, scale of one to five, how confident are you in your ability to survive a zombie invasion in Vancouver? Okay, we will improve on that today. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start by Bring in some stuff you might already know, maybe some new facts about zombies and their victims. Okay, first, zombies swarm potential targets. Once one notices you, his undead groans will attract others. They're also attracted to crowded areas. More sources of stimulation lead to greater numbers of zombies approaching in greater numbers. Fortunately for us, they lack mechanical skill and coordination. They can't run very fast, they can't jump, they can't swim, they can't operate a computer. However, some zombie reports and fictions make them stronger or faster. So far, we don't think this is true. The best thing they have going for them is that they have no fear of pain, so, and that they do come in such large numbers. So a support structure that a human could climb, they can eventually just jump over. Now, the panicking human. Unfortunately, zombies won't be your only adversary on said day. Humans can prove to be equally dangerous. It's therefore important to review some of the behaviors you can expect from zombie fuel panic. First, many people will head for traditional authorities, such as police and hospitals, which will make these locations especially chaotic and attractive to the undead hordes. Second, you may face friendly fire when venturing out, especially in an urban environment where populations are dense. A third thing to keep in mind is not specific to zombie outbreaks, but to human behavior more, general, more generally. Uh, there's a trend to rely on people rather than structures um, for security. So alarms that bring police, that bring security guards. Unfortunately, these people aren't really going to be on duty during the zombie outbreak. So you're better off in a place where it, high walls and locked doors are what's keeping you in and them out. So with these factors in mind, here are some of the characteristics of a good defense position. You're unlikely to come across an ideal site, unless you're lucky enough to be in prison. But mm -hmm. hiding is often safe for alternative to running, at least temporarily. I'll return to this list in a moment. But right now, I'm going to need you guys in three groups. So I think three groups of four will work. Um, and we're going to have you assess some example sites. When reviewing the site you're considering, you're given, consider ag! <laughs> Avoid crowded areas, gather resources, and hide from zombies. I've got a list of scenarios here, so I'll just give a couple to each group. So there's several highlighted for each group. I just want you to pick one that you've got several people confident enough that you know it, that you can assess it, and that you know some of the factors. I'll leave it to yourself to put you guys up. But yeah, if you're going to take a look. These are um, situations, uh, scenarios all over. Um, you might want to keep this in mind before you pick. What you're going to be looking for is whether this is a good place to stay or whether you should risk taking to the streets. And if you do decide to stay, would you, is there a part of the building that would be safer than others? Are there things that you're going to have to be careful of? Are there certain hazards? And if you leave, why is it such an impossible place to defend that you decide to take to the road? So I'm just going to give you two minutes. I know it seems rushed, but on Zed Day, you'll have even less time. Now, 